Crypto currently, July 28th, 2017. The Enterprise Ethereum Alliance has added 34 new companies to its roster, including MasterCard, Cisco, Scotiabank, and the government of Pradesh, with founding members being Intel and JP Morgan Chase. The EEA seeks to support and implement Ethereum-based technology for enterprise and business-facing applications. The Hyperledger blockchain project has added 10 new members from diverse backgrounds to help with the new group of projects that Hyperledger has expressed their desire to complete. Hyperledger is a cross-industry collaboration backed by the Linux Foundation that aims to better integrate blockchain technologies into a wider array of services like infrastructure and better versatility in computer and mobile applications. U.S. District Judge Kenneth Morrow ordered the now-defunct cryptocurrency exchange Cripsy pay $8.2 million in damages to its customers after a class-action lawsuit claims that more than 11,000 bitcoins taken by the CEO Paul Vernon are owed to its customers. Vernon is believed to be in Asia and has not made contact or appeared in court for the allegations. 300 Token completed its ICO and has created a unique niche for itself in the cryptocurrency market. 300 Token only asked to raise 63 Ethereum for its ICO and will only be creating 300 of its crypto tokens, attempting to make use of itself as a proof of concept for Minerium and will hope to trade against Bitcoin with its limited supply. Let's take a look at the markets today as our August 1st fork deadline looms. Bitcoin at the moment is sitting pretty at $2,796, an 8.42% increase. EOS is also up 1.21% and is at $1.88 per unit. BitConnect jumped up 7.76%, stopping at $68.48. And nice to see Veritasium after their theft is up 3.18%, holding steady at $153.99. For the first time since I've started doing this webcast, there's an equal number of tokens going up as there are down. Some major moves are as follows. Coeval went up 45% and is just under $500 per unit. Bitcoin Dark is up an impressive 73%, now at $74.64 per unit. Waves, SiaCoin, Stellar Lumens, Byteball, and Digibyte are all down over 10%. And the Bitcoin fork is making this a wild week and it does not look like it will stop. Stay tuned at Crypto Currently for more information.